Hey, Aliupa! We've finally arrived at the end of my wonderful adventure through Sweden. I began my journey up north, above the Arctic Circle, and over the course of 15 days, I've pedaled 1,300 miles to the southern tip where I once lived as a bright-eyed exchange student 25 years ago. My goal was to explore areas of Sweden that I'd never seen before, while reconnecting with the people and culture of my beloved Sveria. It's been an honor to show you Sweden from my perspective and share with you all the reasons why I love this beautiful country. Except for the mosquitoes. I never want to see them again. I don't even care about the rain anymore. It's the mosquitoes. Thank you for following along. As with all my adventures, my mission is to show the best of humanity and nature and hopefully inspire you to get outside and challenge yourself. If you'd like to help keep this channel thriving, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put a link in the description for more information. Okay, let's get to it. My Swedish family is waiting for me and you're gonna love them. Good morning. I've been lying here listening to the sounds of rain on my tent, which is usually a very cozy sound, but not when you want to get up and pack things up and ride your bike. <laughs> also, my right eye got something in it yesterday, and it's not happy. Ah! Oh, but I am so excited! So excited! Today's my last day! Woo! Oh, time to get up. Oh, it's chilly. <laughs> oh, come on, son. You were so beautiful last night. Look what I just found. A beat up banana. Perfect for breakfast. Thank you, flat piece of ground. I got a big smile on my face because I'm going to finish today in about 65 miles. <sighs> what an adventure. There's my Swedish flag. We're all packed up. My alarm just went off. I woke up a little early today. <laughs> it's only 6.15. Thank you, Billy Idol. Okay, now let's go. Need to start moving and warm up. But I'm excited, I'm so excited. My final day in Sweden, it's been amazing. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. I'm so grateful for this adventure. And I'm also excited to be done. I can have two of those emotions at the same time. <laughs> Moose crossing. I was really hoping for some sunshine on my last day, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> but I guess it's fitting that I'm starting off in the rain on my final day. Rain has been my nemesis on this ride, but also my teacher. This Swedish rain has taught me about patience, humility, <laughs> and just uh, overcoming Discomfort. You know, it might be raining now, but I'm still living off the magic from yesterday evening. That was so awesome. Those were some of the best hours I've ever had on a bicycle. It felt so good, and the sun was streaming through. That was really special. This is a magical 
little bike path I'm on right now. And the rain and mist kind of makes it feel even more mystical and magical. It allows my mind to wander and think. And I'm thinking right now about how grateful I am for this experience that I get to be pedaling my bike in Sweden even on a rainy day. This is really a highlight of my life. Something I was looking forward to for so long. And I'm gonna remember it forever. And the birds are still singing. They're cheering me on. We don't have days like this in Colorado very often, so this is pretty special to have a foggy, misty day. It is so lush and green in here. I feel like I'm in a jungle and these trees are protecting me from the rain. Thank you, trees. So I just got a bit of a pick-me-up. My Swedish sister Sophia just wrote and said, She's gonna come out and meet me for the final 25 miles. <laughs> Bless her heart for coming out in this weather. She's a trooper. And I really owe a huge part of my experience in Sweden to Sophia. She was my age. We went to high school together. She introduced me to all her friends. She helped me learn Swedish. We were like two best buds and we're still really close. I consider her family, not blood family, but family, you know? When Rotary set me up to be an exchange student with her family, I always tell people it was destiny. They're the most warm and kind people I've ever met. So I am very excited to see her in just a few hours. And we can ride in the rain together. <laughs> That'll make it easier. Look at that, my friends. You know what flag that is? That's the flag of southern Sweden, the province of Skåne. I'm home! Oh, it's so good to see that. You know, southern Sweden gets made fun of a lot by pretty much the rest of Sweden. The accent down here is much different than the accent like in Stockholm and up further north. and. People up there always joke that they can't even understand the people down here. They say that they're, they sound like Danish or something. Um, but I am a proud Skånepåg, Skånish boy. And it feels good to see that flag and be back in the flatlands of Skåne. I guess you could kind of equate the southern accent down here to the southern accent we have in the United States where people think you're a little bit country, you know? And that's how it is here too. <laughs> it always seems like people up north make fun of people down south, whatever country you're in. <laughs>
see this guy right here? That's Nils Holgersson. And there's a very famous story here in Sweden called Nils Holgersson's Underbara Resa Genom Sverige. And it's wonderful trip through Sweden. And I've been thinking of that character as I've been riding on my own Underbara Resa Genom Sverige, my own wonderful ride through Sweden. The story is wonderful. They have all these different adventures just like I have been having. So seeing that puts a, a big smile on my face for sure. Check it out, my first single track of the trip. <laughs> right through some farm fields. Oh man, this might be my favorite part of the entire trip. Tunnel of Green. Just taking it all in and enjoying every last bit of Sweden. Check out my cute heart mug with some warm tea. Of course, I got a chocolate ball and just a tomato cheese sandwich. Skål! You always gotta start with the sweet stuff. Mmm! I'm gonna wait here for my sister Sophia. She's on her way. Sophia is on her bike right now. She's gonna be here in a matter of minutes and I really can't believe this is real. This is real life. I've ridden all the way down to the bottom of Sweden and now I get to do the victory lap with my beloved Swedish sister Sophia. Oh my god! Det är hon! Det är Sofia! Det är min sister! Hey, hey. Oh, hey, Ryan! Oh, 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 det... Oh, det... Oh, det är otroligt! Åh, oh, gud, vad härligt! Åh, oh, vad härligt! Åh, oh, tack för att du kom! Ja, har du väntat länge? Nej, inte länge alls! Jag, jag åt en chokladboll, ja. allt är bra! Oh, this is Sofia! This is my sister! Åh, <laughs> åh! Oh, oh. Cyclen thriller now. Hey! Oh, hey. Oh. oh, Shall we cycle home, Ja, Yeah, we shall cycle home. Oh, my God. Are you ready, my friend? My sister? My sister? No, I'm very ready. I'm very ready. So, Sofia is also a Spanish teacher. And, uh, yeah, right? Yes, a veces. A veces. Now, but now we talk a little Spanish too. Está bien, está bien. Vámonos entonces. We cycle together. Yay! We are going to her home in the town called Loma. Loma. Yeah, it's like a pocket. It's like a pocket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Sophia. I love you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you see what I'm saying? She's got great energy. We just think like this, Aman. Here we go! We cyclar tillsammans! I can't believe it! It's really happening! Hey! Hey, so Martinet! Yeah, man in Hungen! Yeah, man in hand! Oh, yeah, man, all to will! Oh, all to can! Fast det verkar inte som sommar idag! Nej, vi cyklar mot solen! Ja, ja, det gör vi! Mot havet! Yeah! Go Sofia! Go Sofia! Go! Go! Go Sofia! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. It feels like old times. It feels like it's when I lived here. It feels like no time has passed. Oh, what cool. <laughs> yeah, it feels like we're 18 again. Woo, 
looked a little windy, but we don't care. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, we're just talking and catching up. La vida es buena. La vida es buena. Leave it there, bro. Woo, and the sky looks scary, but we will save us a man there. Festis. Oh, Sofia is so so sweet. She and brought Swedish drinks, juices. Yes. And she made some sandwiches uh -huh. for us. Oh, you're the best, Sofia. And much later, we'll what? take it. Canel Bullard. Do you smell? Uh oh, here comes the rain. Do 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 do. <laughs> I was hoping we'd be done with the rain, but as every day, the rain's never done with us. <laughs> yeah! Here we go! We're taking another break. I'm eating all of Sophia's <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Thank you, Sofia. Do I snell? <laughs> and the sun is out. We're on a bike path. We're getting closer. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> We're fighting the wind today. This might be the last one. Ole, 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 ole. We're almost there. Woo! Arrri. <laughs> oh, there's the first Malmo sign I've seen on this entire trip. A la visa mascos very club Hey, hey. A la visa mascos very club Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. I've been carrying this flag for a long time. Found it on the side of the road way up in Nordland. I should probably take it out and let it fly. We're only a handful of kilometers away. Feels absolutely incredible. Hey, Yasveria! Here I am on the streets of Kiruna. I'm back in Sweden! Andreas Minven. There he is! It's Mike! Skål! Skål! <laughs> Come on, Mother Nature, give me a break! <laughs> We're getting so close, so close. We are next on Framme, and it feels jätte bra, utroligt. We're coming into Lomma, and I can see Malmo off in the distance, and the Öresunds bridge that goes from Malmo to Denmark. When I was here in 1998, they were building it. It was finished in the year 2000. And I came back that year and ran the big half marathon from Denmark to Sweden across the bridge. And we are so close, Sofia! Yay! Almost there! <laughs> Almost <Woo> there! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. How are you feeling, Ryan? I feel so good! <laughs> I looked down and I saw that the flag was gone. And I've ridden back a good bit and I see it stuck on this thorny bush just waving in the wind this bush just grabbed it right out from under me this flag's been through a lot it's got to get all the way there 
the sun came out for us. Sulin Huino Dog! <laughs> oh, look at these cute kids waiting for me. <laughs> hey, son! Woo! Yay! <laughs> Scully! Woo! Hey, hey, Somatina! Tax Sophia! And this is my sweet Swedish mom, Annika. And my sweet son, Ryan. Oh, she's the best. She took, she took such good care of me when I lived here, right? Yes, we did. We had a good time, yes. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, this is my Swedish dad, Jordan. Hello, everybody. I'm not the biker type. <laughs> I'm a walking type. <laughs> yes, and he thinks his American son is crazy, right? Yeah. No, not crazy, but he's uh, unique. <laughs> <laughs> this is Carl, my little brother, Lillebror Kalle. <laughs> How you doing, bud? I'm good, good. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm glad you were here. Yeah, I'm glad we're all here. It makes it feel so good. And this guy right here is my big brother, Gustav. Yes, yes. right? That's true. That's and that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and he inspired me to run long races. My first ever marathon was with Gustav in Copenhagen. Copenhagen, yes. And uh, I, I, I was fast when Ryan that time. <laughs> so it, it was good to have done that. I'm not sure how that uh, chance. Uh, yeah. At, at this moment, but yeah. I, I have been faster than you. Yeah, he beat yes, me. That I was my first. That hurt. That hurt yeah, bad. Yeah, but but uh, it, it was a good race. It was a good we race. We had a lot of fun. Yes, we did. And check it out. He wore his special shirt yes. just for me. For the taco fest. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this lovely lady right here is Tereus. And she was my first love. My first like real girlfriend. And we're still good friends. She's great. And this guy right here is my good friend Matias. Hello. Hello. You speak English, right? I do, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Skull! Now it is time for dinner. And you know what it is? You know what they're doing for me? We got a whole plate of beans. It's a taco fest. <laughs> Sophia, what a dini day at Hot Taco Fest. It was Ryan's egentlig. We know Ryan loves Taco Bell. And it was Taco a la Melrops. Taco a la Melrops. Woo! Oh, here comes the fun drinks. Look at this, they even got Non-alcoholic Carlsberg for me. Very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, oh, look out! Look, <laughs> look out! Du får äta mycket Ryan. Du har ju cyklat jättelångt. Ja, ah, det är rätt, Gustav. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Oh man, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. Look at all these wonderful humans here. Life is good. Jag vill bara säga att jag älskar Sverige och som sagt många gånger. Det var ödet att jag kom till Sverige. Jag kom till familjen Mellerum. Mm. Och uh, Sverige alltid kommer att ha en, en stor plats i min hjärta. Och tack för allting, tack för svarta bönorna. <laughs> <laughs> Och uh, hej Sverige! Wow! 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 Han landade bland myggen. Men han kom ner till paradiset Lumma. Ryan, vi vill föräldra dig. En present för din goda insats. Han så småningom visar Sverige för hela världen ja. genom dina Youtube-filmer. Jag står det på. Okej! Okay. Ja, ska... Oj, tack Kevin! Det är, det är, det är, är det choklad? Fy fan vad du är bra att stå där. Fy fan vad du är bra! God damn you're good it says! <laughs> This celebration. This glorious, fun-filled evening is exactly what motivated me to pedal as hard as I could when I was lying in my tent on those cold, rainy nights. I owe so much to this wonderful family for opening my eyes to the world outside of Boulder, for loving their crazy American son as one of their own, and for inspiring my curiosity for travel and adventure. It was indeed destiny that brought me to Sweden and to this amazing family. Oh, ye me adu vil, oh adu kan. I've been off my bike for 30 hours. 
and I feel really good. My body is happy with that. I didn't realize how tired I was. I was going pretty hard, and uh, it's been so fun to connect with my family and just be here and not get on my bike every morning. I got to the finish line, I earned it, and now I'm just enjoying the glow of the post-adventure high. You know, when I start these things, you never know what's gonna happen. I never know if I'm gonna get to the finish line. So many things can go wrong, you can get injured, your bike can break, or some other crazy whammy can get you. So, while I love these rides for sure, there's also a little bit of stress involved because you're like, okay, here we go again. Every time I wake up in the morning, I know I'm gonna have a great day, but you never know what's gonna happen out there. And Sweden, the weather in Sweden sure threw a lot of curveballs at me. I wasn't ready to be this wet. I don't think I've ever dealt with this much rain on a tour ever, but because of it, I had to really dig deep, you know? Being cold and wet is uncomfortable for me. I don't like it. I'm a Colorado boy, but uh, I'm just so incredibly grateful for this experience and all of the wonderful people I met. Sweden showed up big time. All the people along the way. I couldn't have done this alone. I couldn't have. And it's, it's the random strangers who came out and helped and Mikkel up north and uh, it just feels so good to be embraced by an adopted country. You know, I came here when I was 18. I knew nothing about Sweden. And when I left when I was 19, I, I was absolutely in love with this country and I still am. And it will always hold a very special place in my heart. Jag älskar Sverige, verkligen. I love this country so much. Thank you all for watching. Wow, this was a good one. Like and subscribe. You know, that's what people do here on YouTube, I guess. If you could share my channel, that would be awesome. It really helps me out. And if you want to keep my channel alive through a f the financial form, try Patreon. You can get early videos, ad-free videos. I do live chats every now and then. It's pretty fun. And you can do it for as low as three bucks a month. That's the price of not even one chocolate ball. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for, for being with me and joining me on this journey. Uh, each and every one of you means so much to me. This is a dream job. This is a dream situation. And I'm so happy to share the world with you. And now I will see you down the road somewhere else. Hey, do Sveria. Goodbye, Sweden. Thank you for another incredible experience. I'll be back.